I'm sorry to be that person guys, but my sleeps have been so good. It's 9.30 on a Sunday. I also have some really, really exciting news. In my last vlog I was talking about how I thought I got my period back. It came real hard. I was literally saying it doesn't feel like the time that it first came back because it was very light. And last time I had like nine years worth in one day. So yeah, yesterday was that day. I told a lot of sunscreen, honey. So besides the pain, your girl is over the moon. I'm not gonna lie, your girl and morning routines have not been one at all recently. Well, like six months maybe. Chilling. But I made it a goal to get my morning routine back. We really wanted to turn things up a notch before you're at bake. Babes, you know what? We're feeling good. We are going a bright today. I forgot I had this new set from Keep That Pump upcoming collection. Cute, cute. So that really have had seven days to turn it up a notch, tweak with a few things, to just give Europe my all. You know, you know. For me personally, I didn't want to lose any weight or go on like a Europe cut or anything like that because I love my body, really happy with where it's at, not want to lose any weight. My goal was to kind of like tidy things up and for me, I actually hold a lot of water retention, especially because I did just come out of my current building phase. Also, my hormones are doing its thing. And then I have my gut health IBS stuff on top of all of that. So your girl has been feeling it. Yeah, just holding a lot of water. So we really wanted to flush it all out, babes, you know, just flush it all out. So right now I'm starting with my AM walk, which I've been doing every single morning. That's been my morning routine, basically. And babes, we are feeling good because of it. So when people think of like a detox, right, they're thinking of what can they do to kind of like flush out their body, detox their body. Funny fact, babe, your body literally does that on itself. Oliver flushes out toxin over time. So in order to detox, you just need time. But what I look at it as is throughout that time, what are you putting into your body to kind of like rebuild your body? We literally are what we eat. And for me, at the moment, I've been really focusing on including things into my diet that are like anti-inflammatory, kind of like taking away from my diet things that are going to hold a lot of water retention. So things like starchy carbs, glucose, anything that my body is going to hold on water with. All right, we are on our way. I'm just gonna have this in the car. Oh, this is the fat burner pre that I'll have before every cardio session. Watermelon candy, literally the best. So the reason why I do love Oxytrade is not only is it a fat burner, but it's also a pre-workout and it doesn't give me them jittery feelings. Like it's just so much more natural. So I'll have this before I go. And honestly, don't worry, babe. We're going to give you a full insight. Insight of foods that I've been having. Not foods that I've been avoiding. And disclaimer, this is for my own body, I know how it reacts, so I know what makes me bloated, I know what affects my gut, and I know what my body holds on water with, because it's like, it is science. And then we've got some packing to do. I'm so excited. My Amazon order also arrived. That's funny! I am obsessed. I've only recently discovered Amazon, by the way. It's just dangerous. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, not no Creflo dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace of mind. Alright, babes, the chaos is about to start. I have my suitcase here ready to pack. Also, just made some lunch. I've literally been eating like Joel's portion sizes of meat. It's crazy. But I'm honestly feeling so good. So, I literally have like. 250 grams raw. Obviously I cooked it, but I weighed it raw. Just rum steak. Oh good, and honestly, I have been like so, so full. And majority of what I'm eating is protein and fat. So my diet right now has been quite high fat, high protein. So I'm eating a lot of healthy fats, things like nuts, avocados, dark chocolate, literally adding olive oil and everything. So I originally wanted to kind of like do this in order to optimize my gut health at the moment and my digestion because it's really been, it's been going through something, babe. Obviously it could have a lot to do with me just getting my period back, stress, um, and obviously carbohydrates are quite hard to digest. And because I did just get out of my building phase, I was eating a lot of carbohydrates. And I do feel as though that put a huge toll on my digestion. I feel like after every build 
that's my digestion tends to play up a bit. And from experience and trial and error, I personally always know that my digestion and body just feels better off a higher fat diet. But I include <laughs> carbohydrates because they're an essential for training and they're an essential for building muscle. Like you cannot expect yourself to go hard in the gym on a low carb diet. You cannot expect yourself to gain muscle on a low carb diet. And that's actually a huge reason in why I've just taken a week break off them because carbohydrates like starchy carbs is glucose and our body holds on to glucose so our muscles hold on to glucose and that's so we can perform better in the gym have more energy our muscles are stronger for me personally what i've wanted to do i don't want to lose weight at all before um europe and i have just been kind of like really yellowing with my diet i literally got back from queensland last week i've been drinking a lot so I just haven't been feeling my best self. I've been holding a lot of, onto a lot of water, just got my period back. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a cleanse for my body, but not really a cleanse, just I'm going to include stuff within my diet and reduce other stuff and just basically make my diet really anti-inflammatory. And by stripping back on the starchy carbohydrates and replacing them with a lot of like good fat and even more protein, what that is going to do is strip your body from a lot of water weight. Like essentially, you get the same effect if you use some more diet and ate in a calorie deficit for seven days. Your body actually wouldn't lose body fat. It would just lose weight. So you can diet, you know, be in a calorie deficit for seven days before Europe and you're going to actually lose a bit of body, body weight. But this is literally just from water. I'm kind of doing the same effect, but I actually don't want to go into color deficit at all because I do not want to lose any weight. So I am doing kind of like this method. So it's still giving me the effect of that water weight loss. I've been walking every single day. So I'm getting 20, 25 minute steps in in the morning. And that plays a huge, huge contributor to really flushing out my body of that excess water, especially around my midsection, because that's where I hold it the most. And I've been including really high anti-inflammatory foods. So things like turmeric, for example, I've just been adding into my morning omelette. And because I am not having any carbohydrates, I need to get my calories from elsewhere. So I've really been swapping to more higher fatty, high calorie meat. So things like my steaks, my salmon, and just including um, high fats on literally everything. And honestly, I, my digestion has been really good. I still have a lot of energy. Like I said, for me personally, my body really responds well to high fat, high protein. This is not something I'll be doing forever because your girl has goals when it comes down to building a fat ass. And when I say a game changer, guys, I mean game changer. So before my morning coffee, hydrate. The girl has been stepping it up a notch. Every morning when I wake up, the first thing that I have is I'll either make a celery juice or I will have my green. Celery juice was like huge back in the day, like medical media, I think his name was. Somewhat, not discovered it, but made it a thing. Honestly, there there are so many amazing properties that celery juicing does have and anti-inflammatory properties are definitely one of them. There are a lot of gut health benefits, but in saying that, it's it's kind of like the lemon water effect. If you're gonna squeeze fucking lemon in your water in the morning and then have a shit diet, it's literally doing nothing. But you know what that lemon water can do for you is the same as what the celery juice is doing for me. It's really giving me a good head start for the day. It's getting me in the right direction and that momentum of just like really focusing on health. Because I definitely do get caught up in the whole like macros, if it fits your macros and like, you know, just like fueling myself for my training, which is great. That sometimes makes me sacrifice the whole okay gut health well-being inner health eating for my hair my skin all of the above and I have kind of like taken that journey the past week and I am so here for it I honestly have the worst habit of like getting new toiletry stuff every time we travel like new bags new makeup bags how do you go to Kmart these are going to be your travel best friend literally so good I'm someone who I'm super chaotic when I travel because my clothes like you know how you got like swimmers little tops like it's so hard to get them neat put them in here honestly game changer so i got the boring white ones from kmart good job because he doesn't care i also picked up um a new heatless curl from kmart they literally have the one that i always use i could not find anywhere my og one but this is the one because europe is like a 24 hour fight in my little carry-on i'm having all the goods I must. I will be doing my heatless curl on the plane. Let's just get that in like a north, 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 north. Brush all my hair products. 
And my skincare is super, super simple at the moment. I literally just use Trini Mist and sunscreen. So I'll just use some Trini Mist on the plane. And then when I travel, I always like stock up on travel stuff, like toiletry travel stuff. I've got our toothpaste here. Mm, probably don't need to a bit much. And this is what she's talking about. So basically, this is all the cozy small tops you girls gonna pack. That would usually just go in there like that. You know, honey, we are stepping up. This whole vlog, just step it up and up. All my swim, and then like my mini tops. Yeah. So essentially, this is, I made like a huge order in Fashion Nova for like heaps and cute like dresses, crochet stuff, and Vivian Boutique. So I can't wear that here. It's literally just been here. Ready to pack. the night before type of girl and I'm two days beforehand for this video. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. So I have a few more little bits and bobs to pack over the days but I am so glad I don't have to stress about it. Obviously we'll be vlogging in Europe so stay tuned for them vlogs and everything on our socials but before I go I did want to give a huge shout out to the sponsors of today's video so Squarespace. We love our sponsors and they do keep our channels running so we can continue making content for you guys. If you haven't heard of my videos yet, but Squarespace is the number one website builder. So it's an all-in-one website builder, meaning you can literally do it all in one with this one platform. So usually when you're creating a website, you'll need to have all these add-ons and pay these extra subscriptions in order to have a functioning, successful website. So even things like emailing campaigns. Majority of website builders, you actually need to pay an extra subscription and have a completely different portal in order to have mailing campaigns. But with Squarespace, you can literally do it all in that platform. All my websites are done through Squarespace and I did choose them years ago just purely from the sheer fact of how easy it is to build your own website. So you do not need to be forking out all this money on website designers because it's literally so easy to do it on your own. They have hundreds and hundreds of templates that you can choose from. And then obviously you will just customize to fit your branding Things like colors, logos, all of the above. I will leave more information about Squarespace in the description below and I'll just pop on my discount code on the screen and that gives you 10% off your first domain or Squarespace purchase. Anyway guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.